Hello everybody, Paul Richards here, Chief Streaming Officer for PTZ Optics. And Matthew Davis, the Product Manager. Um, this is a vlog number 15, and today we're going to talk about a peer-to-peer, -peer, super secure video conferencing solution. Yeah, um, so privacy is something that's very near and dear to my heart with everything I've studied and played with over the years. Um, well, we used to have Skype as a relatively secure peer-to-peer -peer solution in 2011. Microsoft kind of put a nix to that and gave it a uh, cloud-based backbone. Um, so what do we have as a nice replacement? Uh, until recently, there really, there really wasn't much out there. Um, fast forward to 2016, and we have a new solution touting a very secure peer-to-peer -peer architecture for the communication platform named Ziptonite. For anyone who doesn't know, um, a peer-to-peer -peer architecture allows your device, your mobile Android, iOS device, to talk directly with somebody else's mobile device. Um, you're not using a server in the middle, so there's nothing collecting your information. Sounds pretty fantastic. Um, so with open, one of the other nice things here is that it is open source. Um, you can actually go and investigate the code yourself, see what they're doing, making sure there's no funny business occurring. Um, so they've got the open source code, they've got the web capabilities, they've got iOS and Android apps already available uh, in the wild. Ziptonite's really hitting the ground running here. Um, so let's see, if we were to investigate the service a little bit further, currently the service offers free audio, video, texting, group chats, and finally file sharing up to 10 megabytes. Um, beyond the somewhat unique peer-to-peer -peer architecture that we've discussed, they're also utilizing UDP instead of TCP. Um, this leads to a very enjoyable conferencing experience, even in low bandwidth situations. They have plans to deploy more high-end business features uh, eventually, and that's where they're going to be monetizing the platform. So at the moment, you can do free calls, everything I just listed, files up to 10 megs. Um, but beyond that, you would start to need these business features that will be coming out in the future. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check out the Ziptonite software, I'd highly, highly recommend giving it a secure spin. So when you mentioned this, one of the th you said it was free. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I, one of the things you always think about is like Skype's free, but the quality's po poor a mm -hmm. lot of times because the servers are overloaded or whatever. So sometimes being free is a good thing, but it's also kind of a bad thing. Yeah. So in that instance, you're talking about a free service where they've got a mega server in the background and they've got to keep dumping money to handle the bandwidth. Here, it's relying on the end user's available bandwidth and what CPU capabilities they have. So the faster your device, the better your bandwidth, the better your call's gonna be. Uh, it's pretty simple. Oh, so this is kind of like Napster. Yeah, it's, real, it's point to point. So really, if you and I were to make a call and you called me using Ziptonite from your iPhone, it literally would never hit a server. It's going directly to talk to my Android phone. So that's why it's so secure. Exactly. There's nothing in the middle to collect. No chance for somebody to break in and steal that from the server. Interesting. So it's free today, mm -hmm. but you mentioned that they're going to be offering business quality features where it probably will be a paid subscription. Yeah. The first little tidbit that I found uh, that they're touting is file transfers over 10 megs. Uh, that will be one of the first business features that gets introduced. Um, how the pricing will work out, that's still yet to be seen. Um, but it, it's a pretty strong start. So uh, another final question I was thinking of when it, we were talking about all of this is if it's so super, super secure, then isn't it something that like terrorists could use or hackers? Oh yeah, um, but that's part of, part of the whole game. Uh, unfortunately, you have to put the secure stuff out there and it becomes more secure by making the code public. Um, that means anybody technically has access to that code. They can implement their own versions of this. So, you know, nothing is 100% secure uh, is kind of the note I will leave that on. No matter how secure you try to be, there's always ways around it. <laughs> Okay, well, that's great. I wanted to mention that we have a brand new microphone we're using from a company called DPA. Fantastic. And uh, that is why the audio quality sounds so great. Matt and I both have one. Take a look at last week's tech chat with Matt, and you will see we were using lapel mics. You could hear ruffling. Uh, we didn't get everything right. 
the audio for this vlog and all of our um, upcoming shows are going to be great. Yeah. Yeah, this is fantastic. There is no live show this Friday. Um, we're taking a break. We've done 32 live shows every Friday Woo! without a break. Um, so we're going to take one week off, <laughs> take off the Friday. But as everyone knows, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take a look at some of our other um, playlists that we have available. And that was Tech Chat with Matt on Wednesday. Thank you, everybody.